In today's video you will learn how to add proper knockbacks to an entity. So let's get right into it. So at first I create a 3D game object. Uh, I think I'll take a cube. Make sure that your 3D entity has a collider. In my case I use a box collider. And also make sure that the isTrigger function is not true. Okay, this is our enemy, so I'll add an enemy script to it. Okay, what do we want to achieve? We want to achieve if the player walks to the entity and hits the entity, that the entity gets a knockback. So how do we achieve this? We can handle this procedure easily in Unity with the rigid bodies. So let's use this functionality. First, create a variable for the rigid body. We also want to assign that variable directly in the way. Now we want to add the rigid body to our object. The standard settings are okay for now. Back in code, we want to generalize it a bit more, so we want to add an interface to it. I call it iHittable. So let's jump right into the interface. And there we want to have just one function called execute. As a parameter, I want the damage source or the execution source. Why do we want to add an interface to it? Maybe we want the knockback to be enabled on other entities like animals or the player himself. So it's good to have an iHittable function to make sure that every object that gets hit has the execution function. So we jump back to the enemy script and make sure we implement the interface correctly. So if the player executes the execute function, we want to execute another function called knockback entity. There we pass in the execution source. And the whole magic belongs to this function. So how can we calculate the direction? Well, we just have to subtract the damage source position from the current position of the object. As this calculation would result in just another position, we want to make sure to normalize this to get a direction. And then everything we have to do is add force in the direction. We also make sure that the force is just an impulse. So for the force mode, I use impulse. And that's the whole magic. Now I just implement another function to make sure that the execute function and then as a chain the knockback entity gets called. Therefore I have the player handler. I'll just write a quick script so that I can execute the function. So what happens here? I just use the current camera and shoot a ray cast from the screen point of the mouse. So, for example, if I press you with the mouse, a ray cast gets shooted to the rocks in the far. But we want to make sure that the object that we hit with our ray cast is an eye hittable. Therefore, we just get the component of our ray cast hit. If the hittable is not null, we know, okay, we hit something that has an execute function. So we are pretty sure we can execute this. And as our execution source, we can pass in this transform to now correctly calculate the direction in which we want to push or add the force to the rigid body. So let's have a try. So if I press the left mouse button, the cube should be pushed to the opposite direction. It's working indeed, but if you might have noticed, the force isn't that strong. So there are two options. We could lower the mass of our rigid body of the object, or we could increase the force. So for this example, I just reduce the mass, and if it's just half so big, you see the push or the force is stronger. So with just 0 0.1 as a value, we get a proper knockback. 